sometimes it's really nice to be able to give voice comments. And that is one feature that you can actually get in a Google document using an add-on called Kaizena. To add Kaizena, you go up to add-ons, get add-ons, and then it might pop up right away. If it doesn't, you would search for it, but here's the name of it, Kaizena. Hover, click free. This will begin the process of walking through installing it. So I'm going to click accept and it's going to begin to add itself. You can see it's working down here. Boom. Add-ons. Kaizena Mini. Open Kaizena Mini. Then I'm going to get this nifty little pane on the side here. And the first thing that it is going to ask me to do once it loads is to install the plugin. So it's a Chrome extension. Hangs it up here. And that's what allows the voice recording to actually occur. So it's nice. It's a little shortcut. Takes you right here. You can click free and add. And it's going to check for a moment and go through installing. Once it's up there, you know you're all good. So you can close this tab. And go back to your document. So once it's in, you close out of this. And then you go back in. So that way it registers that you added the extension. And then we can actually get started. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm giving feedback. And then you can actually choose somebody who's actually receiving the feedback. So you can, if this is a document that your students shared with you, their email will pop up here. And you can choose them. Or you can add them, and they will be added as collaborators in the document. So to continue, it says, give me, gives me some advice here. Use your mouse to highlight a part of your document on the left, then click the new feedback. So you'll notice we also got this bit of text in the header. Open Kaizena Mini from the add-ons menu above to view feedback attached to highlights. So when a student sees this, they will see highlights, but they won't be able to listen to them until they run the Kaizena add-on or install it. But once it's installed, it's always installed on every document. You don't have to do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight test document, and I'm going to click new feedback. That's going to give me the option to tag my feedback. You can also apply different highlight colors to it. And I can give feedback in many different ways. I can link feedback. I can give text feedback. But really, you can do that with Google Docs. The, the key here is this, the voice feedback. So you click on that. And now you start recording. And now it's recording my voice feedback as I do this. And then when I'm ready, I click Stop. It's processing, and now it's there. So now I can click play, and now you start recording. And, and now it's recording my. So when a student gets this, and they didn't have this open, okay. So we can start from scratch. Close that. Let's say a student was shared with this. They'll go up to their add-ons, and they'd make sure they either added Kaizena Mini, or if they already had it, they would go and open. Then, once it loads up in the document, you can choose receiving feedback. You can choose feedback by a certain person. You don't have to elect a person there, and you'll still see this. And then I go ahead and click on that, and there's that voice memo I left. So that is using Kaizen in a nutshell, the big key being that both the student and the teacher needs to have this installed in order to complete it. But as you can see, it goes pretty fast, and then you're good to go.